Hello, YouTubers. This is uh, Junk Master J, and I'm down here in uh, on Lake Michigan. This is uh, Grand Traverse Bay, and I'm documenting the massive amount of water loss that has been happening the last couple years down here in the bay. Right now. I'm standing on the old shoreline where uh, 20 years ago I'd come down here with my family and go swimming and we would swim out to the sandbar right here and it was a good, uh, and that pool that started there now uh, was a good six to seven foot of water and now it's lucky to even be knee deep. And as you can see, the sandbar now is totally exposed and has been that way for a couple of years now. And uh, that explains the vegetation growth. So I'm going to walk around a little bit and uh, show you some dramatic uh, images of how much the water has gone down. It has gone down especially this summer um, close to a foot. So I'll go around and show you some different shots. This whole area used to be underwater through here and the shoreline was uh, up past where the grass is on that high spot along behind just behind the grass edge used to be the old water line 20 years ago and now that's a good hundred yards back from the shoreline that's developing now along the Grand Traverse Bay. Uh, that right there is the end of Leelanau, would be Northport. Back down this way is uh, Old Mission. Everything in the bay now has like this real gross film on it. I don't know if this is algae growth, but you, when you brush it away, it's black underneath, and it stinks really bad. When I was a kid, we didn't have any of this. I think part of it's maybe pollution, part of it could be just the evaporation of water. Um, it's becoming stagnant. It's... Uh, just the eco ecosystem just seems like it's suffering here and I don't even swim in the lake anymore due to the fact that we've had E. coli breaks breakouts every summer now for years people are getting sick in the water hospitalized um, just all kinds of things you can't you get any of the water in your mouth and you'll get sick and that was never that way. This area here is a little farther north from where I came down on the beach. Um, to me this looks like the moon almost, how eerie it looks. Uh, this used to be all completely underwater. Now, in the past uh, two years, it's become fully exposed. Like I said, this past summer, uh, we've lost probably eight inches to a foot of water. You can see it on this rock where the water line is, the dark area. And that's all how much we've lost this year. Um, people are saying from May to August, which right now it is August 29th, is when the, the most dramatic amount of water has been lost. I'm going to head over to these two rocks here and show you more footage of uh, what's been going on here in the bay. These two rocks here are a good example of where the water used to be. The very top of this rock here, you can see it's a different color than the rest. That was all that was exposed out of the water a few years back. And as the water receded, it leaves like the black exposed. 
that was underwater that was algae that grew on the rock and stuff I'm gonna use these two rocks as a marking point to show the water receding so I'll come back in the fall and in the spring and show you you know how far the water moves in or out you can see they're just on the edge all these are now exposed and this is still lakeside yet I suspect as I come out here to check these rocks we're gonna watch the water go even further down but it definitely has a different look to it than the past years we never had this much water missing up there where the birch tree is and the, and the white pine that was the original shoreline 25 years ago a good hundred yards away so we've definitely been losing water We're farther south on the bay, and the water drop is not as dramatic here just because the water's a little deeper here. I like this little rock shoal. This used to be underwater, and you can see on the rock itself how much the water has dropped. That's a good eight inches, six to eight inches there. And those used to be underwater. You can see it at these houses too, where that breakwater is at. That used to be up by the water too. That was had a lot of water up by it too, and that's all receded quite a bit. You can't see it as much here just because it drops off pretty quick. So anywhere where the water drops off more severely, you don't notice it receding as much. Where um, if it's a shallower area, you can definitely see it receding a lot. Here's some of that muck I was talking about. It's really disgusting. Okay, this is farther down the bay and all these docks that were here were put in May and they all had uh, water underneath them and in the past three months it's all uh, receded that much. give you an example I'll walk out to the water real quick but I, I'm at the edge of the water here and 20 years ago the water was up to the edge of that dock or that break wall so that's how far it's receded here's some more docks they're all out of the water Uh, again, these were put in May. It is now the end of August. We're almost uh, to Labor Day. And the water has gone down an additional 8 inches to a foot in the past 3 months. probably 75 to 100 yards from the break wall and that's 20 years how far the water's gone down again here's like the silt that I keep talking about that we have more of and underneath it has that black grime pretty gross Water is extremely shallow. 